Do you want to live in your home or use it as an investment? There are two broad categories of decisions to make, personal and financial. Buying a home or an investment property is a very strongly a financial decision. A home will be most likely to be your biggest asset. So it needs to disproportionate amount of your decision making effort. Here are four questions every financial expert asks. First, it is more profitable to rent or buy. This is likely the most important calculation involved in choosing, especially for your first home. So we have dedicated video on this topic. Make sure you check it out. We'll take you through a detailed example. Broadly, buying a home involves large upfront cost, regarding EMIs, maintenance and insurance, and a potential growth-based upside. At the end, renting involves small upfront cost, large recurring rental payments and potential opportunity cost if housing prices appreciate over the years. A simple calculator will help you evaluate this decision. If you can estimate the value of the property, rent, home loan and trust rates, market movements and how long you expect to stay in the home. Second, do you have the required finances to buy your dream home? There is often a gap between how much you want and how much you can afford. Your affordability isn't just about how much money you have for a down payment on the house. For example, your credit score, the type of the property, the valuation all impact how much of a home loan you are eligible for. Similarly, a mixture of your profile and the market will define your interest rate and therefore your EMIs. Finally, buying costs, insurance, maintenance and duties all add up. So you need to audit your available finances before you even decide to buy. Third, what is the property market situation right now? Property markets are misleading because people believe they only refer to the housing prices. In reality, the market impacts your financial decision in three different ways. Only one of which is the state of housing prices. Rental yields also vary with time and across geographies and sectors. So you need to understand the rental market situation. Most importantly, interest rates in the market fluctuate with time. These have a direct impact on your home loan and the EMIs you are liable to pay. Fourth, what are the tax implications of owning a home? Base costs like stamp duty, registration and GST would add up to 13% of the price of your home. This is a huge tax implication that home buyers consider far too late. Additionally, depending on when you sell your home, you are liable to a 15% short-term capital gain tax or a 20% long-term capital gain tax. Over and above, the property taxes you pay regularly, ranging from 5% to 20%. There is some relief though through ATC investment and Section 24B that allow you to get a tax break. Buying a home should be an exciting journey, not filled with anxiety and uncertainty. We'll make sure it is as simple, enjoyable and profitable as you deserve. Thanks and goodbye.